everyone. Hey, welcome to another edition of Introducing. I am your girl, Smart Video Girl, aka Miss Chris, for some of those who know who know me from way back when. Um, and today we I have a very, very special show, a special guest. Um, a different location. I wanted to switch it up a little bit. I was feeling the vibe, I was in a work mode. I said, you know what? I'm gonna go live from right here because that's what I like to do. All right. All right. Thanks. Thanks. So today I have a very, very special show. I have a very, very special guest. As you all know, these people are, that I come on my show are like family and friends to me. So and I'm, I want them to become family and friends to you as well. So before um, I bring up my guests, don't forget to like, share and subscribe on YouTube, the only greatness media production. So you don't miss any episodes of introducing. And if you have missed any, you can go back and check them all out. OK, and that is only greatness media production on youtube okay i definitely appreciate you if you would like to be a sponsor if you have uh, any questions you can also email me at tell chris at gmail.com and as always i am so happy and grateful for you my viewers and i appreciate you all okay that's the facts and that's the truth and i like to start off with a little gratitude because i do want you all to know how much I truly am inspired by you guys and how much it gives me great fulfillment to do this podcast each and every Tuesday. So if you don't already, please go follow me over on Instagram at Smart Video Girl. I would greatly appreciate you. You can see me um, do some things over there. I dance a little bit, you know, I'm, I'm a little silly. You can see some of my kids. You can see some of the things that I do video production. Um, and I'm getting better on posting. So don't hold me to it, but at least you can be my friend. So just go on over and, uh, like me on Instagram. And today our show topic is making visions visible. Woohoo! And my guest is none other than Mr. Sir Charles Carey, who is someone who's been around. He's been around longer than Only Greatness Media Production. Well, let me just say that he's been a lot. He's been around for a very long, very long time. I call him a soul sibling, uh, and there's so many great things. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. He's a friend. He's a mentor. He's someone that I look out to in the um, speaking and media world because he does it all and he does it with such with such passion <laughs> and such vision I will say that so help me bring to the stage my guest today Mr. Sir Charles Carey welcome hey what's going on what's going on welcome thanks so much for having me show. I'm so excited to have you how are you today Look, I'm with the smart video girls. Stop playing. <laughs> <laughs> See, y'all, you know, that's why I like my guests, because they love me and I love them back. So <laughs> that's exactly. what we do. Right? One of so the original start- soul sibling. That's what's up. That's what it is. Soul sibling. This is this is nothing but love here. This is this is vision it, it is at its greatest because um I was a very young entrepreneur when I ran to Mrs. Sir Charles Harry. Um and uh there are a lot of people who have seen this journey from the beginning. It's not too many who are still around, and you, sir, are one of them. Um, yes, ma'am. Yeah, and and I've seen you as well grow and develop and do things and and become a huge, you know, as far as I'm concerned, in in making a footprint in in the industry of speaking and as well as promotion and media. So congratulations for that. Well, I'm, I am grateful. So I, I I definitely appreciate it, Chris. And like you said. You know, a lot of people we saw, like, I don't even know how many years ago, you know, starting out on this journey. And I'm not saying that they're not doing anything, but I don't really see them as often, but much love to them. But it's good to see what you're doing. You know, I'm grateful that I'm still around. And uh, there there are a few of us, you know, Enoch, mm-hmm. Tara, um, you know, that we're still plugging and still running this race. Mm-hmm. And I tell people, don't do it if you don't love it, because uh, we sure enough love it. That's, that is definitely a fact. <laughs> we wouldn't have been doing it this long if it was not the right. case. Okay. And so before we get too deep into it, can you just tell the people 
who do not know you a little bit about yourself. I mean, I can go on and on for days because I you do so much. You do music. You do you write. You you do you produce uh, television. Tell us to give the a synopsis to my viewers of who Sir Charles Carey is. Well, let me just say this. I'm going to share with you all a very brief snapshot of what I do, but I also want everyone to be encouraged and know that if I can do the things I'm about to share with you, what can you not do? You know, and I'm, I'm saying that simply because there's more in each and every one of you as well. If you search for it, if you allow it to come to the surface, and if you breathe life into it, I always say that breathe life into it. So you got to mold it. I am <clears throat> a true content uh, creator. You know, I used to think that I was a singer. I used to think that I was a speaker. But the truth of the matter is I'm a content creator. I've been fortunate that I fell in love with music a long time ago. I've recorded several singles, CDs, moderate success, nothing out of this world. But a lot of my friends have done things on a larger scale. But I still do it because I love it. Um, music sent me down a path that introduced me to the craft of speaking. So I am a peak performance strategist. I do keynotes and trainings. Um, in addition to that, I'm an author. I've written seven books. And I'm not trying to brag or impress or overly exaggerate anything. I'm just trying to impress upon people once again that if I've done the things that I've done, what can you not do? And that's, you know, that's just real. You know, sometimes we don't do it because we're not encouraged. Sometimes we don't look at it for whatever reason. But I'm just grateful that I've done all these things in that creative space because speaking is creative too. You know, it's not, you know, something to take lightly. You know, it's almost the same thing as being a singer. You know, you're on a stage, you're on a platform, you got a microphone, people sitting in the left, right, and in the middle, you know. You so all, all things like that I've done. And not to mention video, video editing. I love it. I love it. Yes. If you if you don't if you don't know, you need to find this man out. I mean, he just does so many great things. He's so multi-talented and and it truly is an inspiration because nothing is off limits, you know, for for you as far, as far as creation. You know, and I think that that is that is important and for people to take away. So again, don't forget if you join the show I always say, make sure you bring your notepads or your pen and papers because you might hear something <clears throat> that resonates with you. You might want to jot that down for later. Hold on to it, a little golden nugget. You can just write, introduce the next to it and let you know that, you know, there it is. Um, So seven books, right? Let's go back to those seven books. Tell us what those said. Yeah, there they go. Look at them. Look at that. This is, at this that. is just a few of them. These are the ones that I talk about mostly. Uh, because it's a book series. It's called the Radiate the Brain book series. And it's all about mindset, which leads to clarity and vision and things of that nature. <clears throat> um, I wrote them because as a speaker, my first thought was, well, you know, my mentor said, Dr. Willie Jolly, he said, well, if you want to be in this game, you need something to add credibility to the reason why you're here. And then I eventually got the hang of what I was supposed to do. And I wrote, Radiate the Brain and Change the Game, which was uh, forwarded by Dr. Della Toro McNeil and Dr. Jolly. That's a new Didn't. cover, isn't it? That's a different cover. They've been rebranded. Yes. Ah, They've been rebranded. Okay. I'll take the glare out. They've been rebranded. So that's why they're a book series now. Um, but we're excited about the books. All the books have a companion, either workbook, audio, or video. And they're all interactive. So it's not like your typical book that you would write and someone reads it or normally people buy a book and they just toss it. But these are interactive books. I'm going to ask you questions. What does yeah. risk and fear mean to you? You know, what is uh, continuing education? Have you continued your education? I ask a lot of per, uh, what I consider pertinent and somewhat profound questions to the reader so that you can really make this your own personal resource. And wow. uh, these they've been flying off the shelf. I mean, I, I remember once, Chris, you would not believe it. I had a government agency buy like over $2,000 worth of books. And I'm thinking, where's this money coming from? And I looked, they had to do the trail. I said, okay, I see the deposit. <laughs> I'm looking where it came from. And I called the people up. I said, hey, 
you guys bought books? They said, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to need some more, but we forgot to tell you. I was like, keep forgetting. I keep That's forgetting. all right. Keep forgetting. That's okay. <laughs> so I'm grateful. You know, yeah. I, I, I'm grateful for the whole experience, the whole journey. Wow. That is, that's, in, that's important. Like I said, I met you when you, the, when the first book of your series was released, like that, I don't think you hadn't gotten to the other books in the series. I think you yet. met me when the very first book, which was Poetic Expressions. Yeah. See, that's what we're talking about. See, now you really, <laughs> now Look, you're really talking about something and that that's facts. I don't even yes. sell this book. I don't yes. even sell this book anymore, but Poetic Expressions was the very first book. And Dr. Jolly, he did the forward for this book. Yes. And that's when he said, well, you know, it's good that you have a book, but you really should write something that supports what you speak about. Mm. And, you know, that's what I did. That's what you did. That is beautiful. So so I'm going to ask you before, because the topic today, again, is making visions visible for those who do not know. And that is a lot of deep meaning for both of us. Um uh, that's the slogan for my production company, Only Greatness Media Production. And you spoke about, you know, having clarity and vision. And you have a brand new venture as well, um, which has vision in it. Yes. So, um, but before we get into that, I want to ask you some things about how you yourself maintain some of that clarity and peace. So how how do you create peace for yourself? Well, it helps because I was a, I still, I say was, but I'll say I am. I'm a professional failure. Mm. And as a professional failure, you get to see a lot of things the way that they could have been or should have been. And why you see them from that viewpoint is because you're messing up. You're not seeing them in a successful manner. You're seeing them from a failed perspective. And I failed a lot, you know, innocent well-intentioned young man, you know, making choices and falling flat on his face. After doing that for a number of years and a number of times, I'm talking about personally um, with my family, you know, having children and, you know, I'm, I was a substance abuser. I was constantly making bad decisions, you know, from marijuana to drinking to cocaine to crack cocaine. I mean, I did it all and I was just burying myself alive. So because of that being a part of my, my history, my track record, when I was able to get on the other side of, you know, those types of decisions, I had a different perspective. And it was like, wow, so this is what it's like to really live life without having to do some of those things. And I don't have any disparaging thoughts on, on folks that drink or do whatever they do, but it's up to them to be mindful because I have a past, my family had a past, and I know I didn't want to pass this on to my children. But every generation does what they do. However, to get to your question, when I realized that I didn't have to get high to enjoy life, to have fun, to see through a clear lens, to understand what my ambitions and potential could be, that's when I started looking at life differently, clear, literally. And I started understanding more and more about personal development, which I was like, I was sucked into it. I was just addicted to personal development. I loved it, you know. Yeah, so I understand. So you you personal development gave you the peace that you need, kind of going through going through your trials and then realizing that um that, uh, you know, you, you kind of can get through them and you can kind of make different decisions uh, yeah. was something that gave you peace. Is that is that what I'm hearing? Yeah. In fact, I think what even happened, even I'm scared to touch my mic. I don't want to mess up nothing. But, but you, you um, sound good. <laughs> I got a, I was introduced to network marketing, which I knew about, but never was really um, active in it. But I was working with a network marketing company that shared so much information about personal development. I sort of fell in love with the company, the process, because it seemed like they were talking to you more about personal development than they were about the services. Mm -hmm. And I didn't realize how important that part of getting indoctrinated to the company was. And they really got me turned in, tuned in, turned on, and turned out on personal development. 
Mm-hmm. And by them doing that, you know, till this day, the company's still around. I have a ton of respect for them. But um, I took what I needed. You know, I think that we all go through different things and we all have different experiences. But what I needed from that period of time and from that company was the personal development aspect. Because I knew I got to a point, Chris, that I didn't want to do it anymore. And not because um, I had success, but not because of anything other than I realized that my calling was beyond the company. It was more important than to work with a network marketing company. It was really more important for me to reach people. And I got introduced to Les Brown, and that's when the light came on. He said, you got to be willing to do the things today that others won't do in order to have the things tomorrow others won't have. And I lost my ever freaking mind. <laughs> I love Les Brown. Shout out to Les Brown. He's great. He's he is he's hilarious. And yes, I love his yes, he I is. love his I love his delivery. You know, that's something you brought up about learning through personal development through network marketing. I, that's where I got introduced to it too. So I'm 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 I want to hear who that company was because I actually got introduced to the secret. And I don't know if this may have been around the same time. I remember those years, yeah. Yeah. It was I got introduced to the secret through a network marketing you know program it's like what does this have to do with the other but right it was priceless it was priceless and that's what i took away from it um you know i i got at essence all those things in network marketing but yeah that stuck with me and it has been with me i I ran away with that i took i took that to the bank literally yeah Yeah. i mean and and, i'm to be you know transparent when i first heard les say that i was i was just geeked i was like woo went home did nothing isn't that the case though and then the next time we had a regional event he was the keynote speaker guest speaker surprise speaker and i was like this is happening for a reason i said okay that's confirmation learn what you need to learn i went home and i got busy i got busy Got my website, got my business card, started learning what you do as a speaker. And I had a one sheet, started reaching out to people. And then I started speaking everywhere I could, wow. everywhere. Suitland Fest. I mean, you, whatever I could speak, I'm down. You were speaking. You were there. You said, sign me up and I will be there. Yep. That is what is beautiful. I think I think um, you made your own vision visible. If you want to talk about it, if I want to wrap it around, bring it back. Yeah. You, you, you did that work that you needed to do. Absolutely. Okay. All right. I like that. So um, another question that I usually ask people, because I'm so interested in, I've been talking to a lot of uh, women on my show, and I think you're the, the probably the third male on the episode. So, and I ask the women a lot of this, because we do this a lot, is how, as a man, do you balance your masculine and feminine energy? Well, for me, I'll, I'll be very honest. I, I know that the era I came up with or came up in, um, a lot of men are over the top with this masculinity, this testosterone on steroids. And obviously, I shouldn't say obviously, but I'll just say they pass that down to their sons and nephews. And, you know, that's why the way men are, is sort of stigmatized. You know, a man is this, you can walk through walls, right? Yeah, okay, whatever. Anyway, the reality is I personally embrace who I am. There's a sensitive side to me, an emotional side, and I shouldn't be embarrassed by it because I'm a human being. All human beings have that, but a lot of men suppress that because they think that it makes them less of a man to say, I'm vulnerable. Mm-hmm. My, you hurt my feelings. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I'm scared. Mm -hmm. you're a person you don't have to walk around with your emotions on your sleeve but at the same time when it's necessary be who you really are if you're Mm -hmm. afraid there's nothing wrong with that but you know what i find is a man that's in touch with his inner self a lot of women are uncomfortable with it because they're so used to hearing the opposite you know they're Mm -hmm. so used to guys putting on airs and acting like what what's up Right, yeah, right. I'm, well, I'm hard, yeah, and yeah, okay, you can be that way, be that way when you need to be that way, when but is that really how you feel? Is that really who you are? So, mm-hmm. I embrace my genuine, authentic self, 
Mm-hmm. I make no apologies if I feel sensitive. I make no apologies um, for anything because here today, you could be gone today. That is facts. That is facts. And shout out to Montre Dupree who said, be who you really are. Absolutely, and I think that, sir. that is it. That is facts. And when you, when people could do that, like you said, I had a show. I don't know if I said this on the show or not, but I definitely shared it with my uh, mastermind group that um, labels are limitations. We put labels on 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 everything, you know, and and when we put labels on things, it, it sets them in a sets you in a box, and then yep. you have to conform and you have to quote unquote act a certain way, and that definitely happens in the community, especially in the black community, when it comes to gender roles of and and how you're supposed to act and how you're supposed to conduct yourself as a man versus how you're supposed to conduct yourself as a woman. woman. But when the reality is, we have to learn how to balance that that in ourselves because then that'll be the, the true essence of who we are. Back to right. what you're I saying. mean, your, yeah. your, 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 your body language mm-hmm. sh- should support your mental, I say, capacity in a sense. If... I'm walking around switching or holding my hand like a woman would hold her hand and talk about I'm comfortable with myself and I sound like I sound. That's going to be confusing. It may even be confusing to me. But if I'm able to say, look, I feel vulnerable. You scared me, you know, or, I, I, I'm, you know, I'm just not sure. I'm not I don't feel secure right now. So I'm not sure what to do. I'm just going to shut down. I can say that as a man would say that. And sure, I could look feminine but just being who my being who i am right should be enough for whoever's hearing me or with me to understand these are genuine emotions and this man feels the way he's expressing absolutely but you know absolutely i hate to say it but the fact of the matter is <sighs> society and media taps into other agendas so much that it's confusing a lot of people mm-hmm. commercials movies, series, and I understand that, look, there's men, there's women, there are gay people, you know, I know all the alphabets, but I'm, look, it's not my responsibility to have to remember alphabets because you choose to designate yourself LG, whatever. I have gay friends. I don't have a problem with them. My point is just be who you genuinely are. That is, you know, that's, that's that's the bottom. At the end of the day, be who Mm -hmm. you are. Don't get mad at someone because they don't want to subscribe to the way you want to say something. Look, I'm I, I am who I am. You are who you are. Just don't push up on me. I don't push up on you. Bottom yeah, line. that's different there. Yeah, you know, that, that's that's it. I mean, even with music, when I create music, I don't categorize it because it may sound like pop, it may sound like soul, it sounds like whatever it sounds like. I don't want to be in a box. Mm. You know, it just is what it is. If you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't. There it is. Whoop, there it is. That's what I love about it. You know, I, that's one of the things here at Introducing that I that I encourage. And something that I'm learning myself is to be your authentic self. You yep. know, be your authentic self. And what um, Montre, she went on a, a challenge. She was gone this weekend. So she was challenged to live and stand in her truth for 24 hours. And what stays belongs and what leaves needs to go. And that is facts. A lot, a lot of times, um, I've said this too on the show, is that we have, we subscribe to other people's uh opinions or thoughts of what or who we should be you know even in even in um, profession and even in as an entrepreneur sometimes you 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 may try to fit into a box because that's what a quote-unquote entrepreneur is supposed to be but i think at the end of the day if you're authentic who you are there's really no way to kind of put a title on that that's why you said you're content creator like i get that because it's like I, I say a content creator too, and people are like, well, what is it? I say because I do, I create. Right. right. <laughs> I am a creative person, so I can't really tell you what that looks like, other than you subscribe to me and who I am and, and my ability, and then I will create. You know, Look, that's- you may be 
a filming something one day, you may be writing something another day. They're both right. content. It's, it's just different content. types of content. You know, I may be better at one than the other. Absolutely. You know? That I is a, it. I did a, uh, a broadcast today and, you know, I had no idea. First and, and foremost, let me say this. I had no idea and I probably should have. I had no idea what you were going to discuss with me tonight. Mm -hmm. But I did a broadcast early and it says, what does it take to be you? And I came up with four. See, this is why there's no accidents in the universe. I came up with four. There's more than four things, but I think there are four core things that we all can do to understand that question and to identify with it. And number one was honesty. Mm -hmm. You got to be honest with yourself about who you are. Number two. And if y'all watching this broadcast, not only should you subscribe to um, this uh, channel, but write this down. Take notes. Number one, be honest with yourself. Number two, have confidence or develop confidence. Number three, have a plan or create a plan. And number four, have the willingness to move forward with all of the above. And that's not easy, but it takes time. And if you're true to yourself, you won't mind the amount of time that it takes to do all four things. Number mm. one, again, honesty. Number two is confidence. Number three is developing a plan. And number four is the willingness to do so, to accept mm. it and to move forward. All right, you guys, if you never, if you remember, I had a, I had, we had six superpowers at one point, and one of them was our will. Mm, yes. Our, our will. Our will is one of the superpowers that we have. And so you saying the willingness to move forward, we have to. And the will, again, remember, is the way I defined it, or a good way to help people remember it, is having an idea that stitched into your head and there's mm -hmm. nothing that can remove that so however you <laughs> however yeah. you you could see something you're like nope your will is etched in here and whatever it looks like seems like is you're going to move past that because you have an idea of what the outcome is supposed to be so that is yeah. that's how kind of how i set will you know and you can, um, and you can and will you go in a way Look, and you can will things into existence. And that's my whole that's my whole point. I tell people it's a superpower. If you get yeah, it etched it in here, if you get that etched in here, you can will it into existence. Absolutely. I believe it. Hello. Look, there's been too many times that like I live on YouTube half the time. I ain't gonna lie. Whether I'm trying <laughs> to figure out something or I'm looking to um watch some of the people that I admire and respect just to hear what they're talking about. And I remember this lady one time said, let me show you how to manifest, blah, blah, blah. I forget what it was. Manifest what you want to think. So it was a short video, like 10, maybe 12 minutes. And it wasn't the first time I heard about manifestation. It wasn't the first time that I heard about the law of attraction. Right. But I watched it and I wrote down the steps that she, you know, suggested. And lo and behold, did it not come to fruition? I think within... Two to three days, I think I got a thousand dollars or just under a thousand dollars in two to three days. And because you know, a lot of times we hear these things, but we don't do them every day. We don't live by them. It's not a part of our daily interaction. And I wasn't doing it. I'm doing my business. Yeah, I'm making my phone calls. I'm trying to set appointments, but I wasn't using what I know on a daily basis. And I just happened to go by her channel. And I think I was in need of something at that time. In the next 24 to 48 or 72 hours, I got, like I said, under $1,000. And I was like, oh, snap. Just what you needed. And, 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 and you this, knew about this, Charles. Why aren't you doing it every day? Because let me tell you why. A lot of times we know what to do. We just don't do what we know. Yeah. So many of us. Distractions, you tell laziness. Somebody, I know how to do that. I know. I know. I know. I yeah. know. I know. You yeah. know, we we know, but we don't but do. We don't do. Yeah, and that is and that is a key, and that's where that's why this this list that you have it's very important. I'm gonna go over it again. Make sure if you miss it the first time, the four key things, and I don't remember what what was the result. The four key things to oh, uh, what does it take to be you? Like what does it take to be you? Yeah, so the authentic the things, version of you. Right, the authentic version of you is to be honest. 
with mm-hmm. yourself, <laughs> first and foremost. Have confidence, okay? Have a plan and then have the willingness to move forward. And that willingness is it because if you can, you can have, be honest, have the confidence and get your plan and then be stuck doing nothing, okay? So let's get to the doing. Let's yes. get to the doing. Yeah. All right. So as always, thank you, Sir Charles. If you guys missed it, if you missed this first half, it's been half a show already. I'm telling you, it's been crazy. I love I, I, I love the show. It just goes so fast. But our, our new person today, if you missed it, ding, 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 new person. It's Mr. Sir Charles Carey. So make sure you um, check him out. Can you tell them where they can find you online, anywhere, sir? Absolutely. First, I want to give a quick shout out to Sharon Parker and Montre, who made some comments, and Taypack 5 Thanks yes. for chiming in and, you know, sharing your thoughts. Yes, you can find me on all social media mainly Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, at Sir Charles Carey. So whatever those platforms are, forward slash Sir Charles Carey. And if you're a regular subscriber to Only Visions Media, did I say the name right? No, Only Greatness. Only Greatness Media. Mm -hmm. Check out the upcoming event, October 29th, Clear Visions, seeing it before it's there. And use the code name VISION to get a major discount. Trust me when I tell you, it will serve you. I've got Bishop David Sabatino, Dr. Brian Champion, Janice uh, Thorne, um, Marilyn Platinum Franklin is gonna be our MC, and yours truly, and we are gonna go all in. If you're about personal professional development, go check us out. Clear vision, seeing it before it's there. Use the code word vision. It's there. I love that. Seeing it before it's there. Absolutely. Seeing it before it is there. If y'all missed the first half, that's what we've been talking about. <laughs> talking about. Uh, and and the funny thing is, we have been connected so long that we've been we've seen it before it's there, and then we've seen it come to fruition. And that is a beautiful thing too. Absolutely. That that is a beautiful thing. Ah. Uh, uh, Sir Charles, I, I, I'm going to bring this up real quick, and then I want to get into my sponsors. And for those who do not know, you introduced us to somebody, me, I they believe it was me and Lady J mostly, but you introduced us to somebody who was um, before video conferencing, video, video, uh, video telephone, all of yeah. that. Before that was a thing, before we were right. doing this right here, what we're doing right now, you introduced us to someone. Um, who brought that together. And so again, if you're talk, talking about seeing it before it's there, we were talking about this type of communication and exactly. platform <laughs> before it was here. <laughs> and someone had to call that and to see it. And, and for me to have that you know cycle, to see that in my lifetime, in the little bit of life that I have lived and have so much more, I'm excited, you know, to see what's next. And in the future, it gives you some, it gives, it does something for me to say, Mm -hmm. Oh, you know, you can, anything that you can think of it, you can bring about. That's what it really did for me. Yeah. I totally agree. Yes. Yes. So as you guys know, it is time for our new things and this week i have some great new things that i would like to share with you all uh first of all shout out to seventh element productions for the introduction if y'all saw the promo in the beginning um, nice nice so I, I love it 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 so shout out to seventh elements production for the intro, I definitely appreciate you, um, and I, I just love it. Uh, make sure that you check out all of my sponsors. First of all, Black Women Connecting Communities is the uh, collective of women that I'm a co- um, connected to. We do a lot of work in the community. Um, there's a wonderful women who just are all about connecting, making connections, and giving back to our community. Shout out to our founder, who is Miss Carib Tara. Yes, yes. My friend, my dear friend. She's always bringing people together. That is definitely her gift. And she started Black Women Connected Communities. That is definitely a support system for me and a sponsor for the show. 
Also, Mr. CourtlandJones.com. Make sure you check them out. Check him, check out his website. He is my book coach. He is helping me birth this book that I'm working on right now called Do the Work, Keep the Faith. And he's actually going to be joining me next week. So that's going to be a great conversation. Make sure you tune in to uh, hear that. And Wow Radio. Yes, Wow Radio is an official sponsor of the show. If you miss any of our episodes, you can always go back and catch them on Wow Radio every Monday at 9 a.m. It's on Spreaker, it's on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and all of your other favorite streaming platforms, all right? And Super Radio, who also syndicates uh, the Introducing Podcast. Make sure you check them out every Wednesday. So I'm just so happy for all of my supporters and all of my sponsors who continue to help spread the word and get introducing the podcast out there to people and last but not least miss sharon lee on the run yes make sure you check out this podcast comes on every friday at noon you can laugh learn and lead with miss sharon parker aka miss sharon lee on the run i Max. love her show yes I love oh it's so great to be behind the scenes on that show i get i get all the golden nuggets I can't win any prizes, but <laughs> <laughs> it is so much fun to be there. And, and it's really, I'm excited for her to, for her stepping out of her box <clears throat> and yeah. being authentic and showing another side of who she is. And I'm so grateful that I, she allowed um, my company, Only Greatness Media Production, to help make her vision visible. Yeah, I love the creative. energy that her show has. I love the yes. energy. The flow is like right on time. It is right there on that Friday, and she comes in with the Sherilyn. I love it. I've, yeah, no doubt. <laughs> so <laughs> it is awesome. And last but not least, you guys know I have to. I'm launching a brand new project for my company, Only Greatness Media Production. I do. Uh, I recently retired, kind of, sort of, like you know, step back. And, but what I'm still doing is because I'm still getting calls is I want to be able to help people and coach them through kind of helping them make their visions visible. That's the reason why I started the company. So I have a brand new uh, package. It's called my discovery sessions where I help make your visions visible. And what we do is as an hour session, we talk about how you add value, what your brand story is and how others can see your vision vision. And it is very, 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 very impactful. Um, I suggest people sign up for this. It's, I'm running a special through the 20th of uh, September for $25. You can scan the QR code, um, you know, sign up. And when you sign up, then you can book a time with me for your hour session and we can get a clear vision of what it is that you are working on with your business and what it is you want to accomplish. And I tell you, it's really, um, Phenomenal. When I work with people, I realize that a lot of people don't know what they want to do with their products and uh, with their, you know, they just, I want a video, I want a flyer. And for instance, I have a client when I went to Cali recently, I'm going to show her stuff and I'm going to show you so you can see in real time what, what we do is she had a, um, if you can see, I don't know if you can see that too well. Yeah, we can she see that. She had a flyer. This was kind of her flyer. It's kind of basic here. And she has a great story. She's a real estate agent. You can't really see that. But it was really plain. So her flyer, I was like, okay. But I'm listening to her talk and I could hear her vision and I can hear her story and I can hear the value that she's adding to her customer. But it wasn't coming across. And so I offered her... Um, you know, we had a session and I redid her flyer for her. And this is what I came up with. I just want to show you guys real quick of how I redesigned her flyer. And so this is her brand new flyer, still keeping with her flair. You know, I don't want to change it up. I always do that. But I gave her something that was a little more appealing nice. that, had, that had what could help share and sell her story more to her customers. So. Very if nice. you are a business owner, if it's something that you 
are doing, you're looking to launch a product, you're looking to rebrand, you really want to get your message across. You don't want to just be a service <clears throat> provider. You really want to add value to somebody. Make sure you sign on up for one of my Only Greatness Media production discovery sessions, $25 until September 20th. Great deal. It's a great product, I promise you. I promise you. And I really love to sit down and talk to people. So um, it allows me opportunity to really, you know, delve deep and, and get into it. Because I realize as an authentic person, as an authentic creator, I have to know what your vision is. I have to know what your story is. And then it becomes my job to help make that visible so that other people can see it. Exactly. Yeah. So, yeah, thanks. So sign up for that. All right. Those are our new things for this week. And so, of course, you know, now it is time for our new way of thinking. And today's show topic is what? Making visions visible. And we've been talking about that kind of a little bit throughout this show. And Sir Charles, you have a brand new um, company. You have an event coming up. See yes. it before You see it before it is. I didn't, I didn't write it, finish it. What is it? See it before? Oh, clear vision. Seeing it before it's there. Seeing it before <clears throat> it's there. Tell us a little bit about what clear vision is. Well, due to the fact that the last couple of years we've been going through different changes and challenges, uh, not just in the United States, but worldwide, mm -hmm. those of us that are here, we still need clarity of thought. We need maybe assistance in getting from point A to point B. And I know that a lot of people want something. But I think it's more than just once. I think a lot of people really need something. Mm. And our goal is to help people to develop maybe visionary thinking, help people to see things differently, to provide a way of learning how to communicate that really uh, helps you understand and interact and interface with different people a lot better, especially if you're an entrepreneur. Most people don't realize that, for example, 55% of communication is body language. So communication is so important. Our words are a very small part of communication. So when we have people like Bishop David Sabatino, he wrote a book series called Armed with a Vision and an Action Plan. He's going to talk about visionary thinking. How do you plan things and you know put things into action so that you get the desired results? I talk about mindset, radiate mm -hmm. the brain, change the game. You know, how do you overcome challenges? And each presenter has expertise in different areas that's going to give the participants at this conference an opportunity to really look at themselves differently. And again, maybe not just get what they want, but to get what they need. And when we're giving you free parking, we're going to feed you, you got swag bags, we're going to get digital products. I mean, we're going to go all in. There's going to be a networking segment. We're going to go all in to uh, really make sure that people get exactly what they pay for and then some. Mm. Mm -hmm. So what do you think the biggest uh, obstacle is with people in, in getting clarity in their vision? Distractions. Mm -hmm. You know, distractions, are. I think they hit all of us, even the professionals. And look, I've been doing this for a long time. I got distractions. And sometimes you just don't feel like it. But when you remember, as, as, as there's a saying, when your why is big enough, the how really doesn't matter. So, you know, if you keep in front of your, your mindset or the forefront of your mind, why you're doing something? Why did you become an entrepreneur that does only video, that does uh, audio or that uh, speaks or that does graphics or whatever the thing is, carpentry, electric, electrical, whatever your passion is, if you if you remember why you have chosen that as a passion or why it chose you, you should always be able to get out of bed with a little extra pep in your step, a little excitement in your day. You said why it shows you. And I, ooh, ooh. All right, look, he, see, I, see, Divine leads the way on this show. I don't like to really tell people what we talk about because I, I like to be authentic. Yeah, and, and so, I love the organic approach. I really do. I don't like, I mean, you can give a person questions. That's fine. But if I got to think on the spot, it's coming from the heart. That part. I like it. And that's what I want. I want the authentic, 
authenticity. And so why it chose you, and we're talking about purpose, or we're talking about the desire, or we're talking about the vision, okay? That's what we're talking about right now. Yep. And you said it chose you. And I think that that is very important. And I think that that is very true. I think that we're born with our vision. We're born with our visions. Our purpose is, is, is built into us. We come here with um, something that we're supposed to do. Yes. And it, in, um, and I know you can speak to this too, because uh, your, your, what did you say? Your purpose is your passion. Your passion oh, yeah, is your purpose. The three P's. Find your pleasure, mm -hmm. find your passion, find your purpose. There yes. it is. And, and, that, that. and and yes, because again, find your pleasure, find your purpose, find your path. That's in you. If you find the things that you like to do, that's because it's inside of you. Yeah, it's it's waiting for us to mature it, to introduce it to the world, to make yeah. it even greater, to make it more than just a thought or memory, Absolutely. you know, to really make it concrete, tangible, even, you know, depending on what it is. Mm -hmm. And to, for it to be identified or synonymous with us, absolutely, and, yeah, and that's I think that's just so on point and so on time. Yes, and hence make make your visions visible. That's what I'm saying. So a lot of times, as an entrepreneur or as an artist, even because I work with I work with musical artists, I do music videos. Um, when you when they are making a song or you know writing a song, conceptualizing a song, there's something maybe that's going through their head. So like that. As a visual artist, it's like, how do we express this visually? You know what I'm right. saying? How can I help someone else see your vision, see yeah. your purpose? And mm -hmm. a lot, because a lot of times we can't, art some people can't articulate it. Right. Um, and they don't even know that that's what they're doing. And yeah. so it comes out through through their art or through their business or through their service. And, um, I actually started uh, Only Greatness Media Production and making visions visible out of a personal need for myself. Okay. Yeah. So I was doing, you know, doing Can We Talk? And I I, really, I was doing the radio part, but I wanted people to see the people I was talking to and to see the work that they were doing, to see the impacts that, that they were having. And, and so then I had to hire my own video people. <laughs> And then I was like, wait. And then I had to tell them how I wanted. I was like, I want it. I want it like this. I want it like that. And then I just realized that you know what, you just, girl, just get a camera and do it yourself. I was like, just get it your camera, and do it yourself. And so, and then so I, in essence, made my own vision visible. I had a vision of how I wanted these stories to be told, and that was how I birthed only greatness media production. And that was my goal to to help other people do the same thing that I did. And the beauty about that is that because you wind up or wound up doing it yourself, you learn the nuances of all the intricate parts of how it's supposed to work, how it could work, what it took to make it work. And that's something that a lot of people shy away from. You know, I believe in outsourcing, but I also believe in knowing so that if I do outsource, I know exactly what I need. And if this person that I'm uh, getting to outsource with, if they really the right choice for for my vision, yeah, and that's what I, and that's the beauty of it. Me too. With the people I work with, I I work with people who who understand that process because I, my creative process is one of knowing. I have to understand what your vision is. I can't just create something. You can't just say, "Give me this." I have to know. I have to have some type of lane for what it is that we're trying to create because otherwise, then I feel like I'm creating something for my own vision and it's not of yours. Right. So I, I encourage people who are um, business owners and artists and to really think about that. Think about what it is you want to convey to your audience. Who mm -hmm. who are you speaking to? What, what experience do you want them to walk away with? Because, and don't leave that to anyone who has created anything for you. And I'm speaking as someone who's a creator. Don't let them do that because now it becomes... It becomes their vision and their purpose. Yes, and it, exactly. And it may not be the the message that um that you want to convey. So yeah. be clear. Be very clear. Yeah. That's exactly why I say, you know, the right mindset is all you need and radiate the brain and change the game. You know, as you know, radiation is a ray for people that have usually is cancer, but it focuses in on a specific part that's not well and it kills that disease. 
Well, mm. if you focus, radiate the brain, if you focus your thinking on what you really want, that will determine you getting a better outcome or a different outcome. That's why that phrasing was even created. And uh, that's, of course, hence the title of the book, Radiate the Brain and Change the Game. The right mindset is all you need. With the right that mindset, there's no telling how far you can go. That is it right there, y'all. I'm telling you, that is awesome. That is how you do it. So let me ask you about the um, the clear vision. Yes. All right. Is this a, <clears throat> is it a uh, is it a company or is it just an event or you guys? Clear Vision is a partnership with myself and Dr. Brian Champion. And uh, he's been in um, business for about 30 some odd years as a diversity and and DNI diversity and inclusion uh, Mm -hmm. speaker, coach. He does a lot of other things as well. But um, he and I were um, recommended to one another. I did a a keynote for the Nuclear Regulatory Commission and the guy that hired me, he said, listen, you need to meet this guy. So he got us to meet one another. We started talking. We had several weeks of getting to know each other and then we decided okay let's make this production something uh, uh a venture that we could definitely stand behind and that's how the whole clear vision productions uh was uh brought into fruition oh wow wonderful 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 so i'm excited to um hear about the clear more about clear vision make sure you guys sign up for the event that's coming up in september give them the details one more time sure on sure how they can participate in the code so they can get that discount Go to Eventbrite and look for Clear Vision, Seeing It, the letter B, the number four, Seeing It Before It's There, and use the code VISION to get the discount. That's only good until September 30th. It'll save you about 28 bucks. I don't know about you, but I save 28 bucks anytime I get a chance. But it's very affordable. Let me just let you know, honestly, because of the caliber of the presenters, I know for myself, I've done events where four ninety seven is a is a standard price. To be quite honest with you, and a discount may be one ninety seven, but we're only charging one hundred twenty five dollars for this event after September thirtieth. Prior ninety seven bucks, you cannot beat that. You can't. And it just, it, in fact, it doesn't even make sense to offer it. But because this is the first thing that he and I are doing together, and we're doing it. I won't say post-pandemic because the pandemic is still going, but uh, now that things are loosening up, we're trying to make things affordable for people and give them something they can really appreciate. And if you want to learn more about Clear Vision Productions, we have a Facebook group. It's called Clear Vision. I believe it's CV Productions. And uh, we just recently started it up. There's some free giveaways in there, uh, opportunity to network. So by all means, look up Clear Visions or CV Productions, and uh, you will definitely find out a lot more about Dr. Champion and myself. All right. So Clear Vision Productions, seeing it before it's there. It's scrolling down at the bottom. So if you want to go on over to Eventbrite, you can um, type that in and find it. And don't forget to use the discount code vision so that right. you can save some coins yep. on the event. All yep. right. Okay, okay. And if it, again, don't forget, if you would like to follow Mr. Sarah Charles Care, you can go on over to Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, and at Sir Charles Carey. And that's C-A-R-Y, Sir Charles C-A-R-Y, to see what uh, I do. Yes, C-A-R-Y. That's right. Make sure you follow him. He does a lot of great things. He has a book series. He he does so many things. He's so talented. He has great vision and he can definitely help you as well. Um, I'd just like to say thank you again, sir, for coming on, being a guest, yes. uh, finally getting you on the show. You know, I, <laughs> it's, been, it's, it's been a minute, but it's like I had so many, I had so many great guests. So many great people that I want to um, bring on. And the timing is always right. I feel yeah, like you know, know things happen when they're supposed to, you know. Always. So always. thank God. Look, thank God for Wegmans, right? Right. Thank God for Wegmans. Look, let me <laughs> <laughs> let me tell you, I ran into, and but it happens like that for me. It's like, you know, and I've just kind of followed those signs. So, you know, this was the right time because it's like clear vision, and it was like, oh yeah, clearly that's a great 
way, a great topic, something for us to talk about. I'm launching my program. You have your clear vision. Let's make some visions visible tonight. Let's help some people understand, get some clarity of thought, clarity of vision, clarity of just figuring out who you are and how to show up as your authentic self. Okay. Absolutely. And don't forget the four keys to being your authentic self is to be honest. Okay. Have confidence have a plan and then have the willingness to move forward. Okay. That superpower of will keep it in the forefront of your brain and don't let anything distract you from that. That's your will. Okay. Absolutely. All right. So this is, this coming to the end of the show. Do you have any closing remarks for my lovely introducing podcast fans out there? Well, you know, I would just say that, you know, you're not the only one that has gone through what you've gone through or that are going through what you're going through. You know, there's always light at the end of the tunnel and you want to get on the other side of that. Be your authentic self. Don't worry about what other people are doing. Take your time and live your life. Just be you and you'll be appreciative for the time that you have taken or time you've given to yourself. You know, a lot of times we want to rush into things don't rush into things. You know, everything happens for its own, just like the show. Yeah. I knew that I knew that uh, the smart video girl had launched the show, mm-hmm. but I was able to come on the show when the time was right. Your time to get through your challenges will happen when the time is right. But may not be comfortable, but sometimes we need discomfort. And here's why. There's always another level of comfort for you to work towards and discomfort to get over. That is the truth. You said discomfort. If you're not growing, then you're not doing anything. And it is uncomfortable to grow, you know. Sometimes yeah. you, it's supposed um, to be uncomfortable because you're not used to doing it. You've never done it, maybe. So if yeah. you're uncomfortable, know that it's supposed to be there. Don't shy away from it. Look, don't ask for things to be better. Just ask for more skills. All right. Listen, listen. I love it. I love that. So we're going to end the show on that. This is your girl, Smart Video Girl, again. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you don't already, follow me over on Instagram at Smart Video Girl. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel here. Listen, we're getting close to my magic number, guys. I'm getting so so excited. So thank you all for liking and subscribing and sharing because you guys are definitely doing that. And I see you and I definitely appreciate you. Next week, we're going to have Mr. Cortland Jones on the show, and we're going to be talking about a uh, crisis of belief, and that's going to be a very powerful show as well. You guys know how I do. I love, I love, I love, I love to introduce you all to new people, new things, and new ways of thinking. We're going to go out with another, with the uh, introduction again, it's such fire from the Seventh Element Productions again. Thank you all for tuning in. It's been another great edition of introducing the podcast. Until next week, peace out.